The overall goal of the following experiment is to observe transient gene expression of a GFP-tagged reporter in tobacco leaf epidermal cells. This is achieved by first designing a DNA construct that will be expressed in the chloroplasts and peroxisomes. The construct is then built using PCR amplification and Gibson assembly. Next, a gene gun is used to deliver the construct to tobacco leaf epidermal cells. Ultimately, imaging of the tobacco leaf by confocal microscopy reveals GFP expression in the chloroplast and peroxisome. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods, such as classical cloning, is that it does not require restriction enzymes, and thus any sequence that can be amplified by PCR may be cloned. Because of the flexibility of the genetic design, the applications of these techniques extend towards the larger scale genetic engineering of agricultural plants. Begin this protocol by determining the sites within the plant cell for final protein expression. For this work, the aim is to target expression to the chloroplast, peroxisome, and cytosol. Next, design the expression construct. The construct must contain a promoter, a detectable gene, and a terminator within a single plasmid. In this case, the constitutive promoter P and cup 2 drives the expression of GFP, which is followed by the nopaline synthase terminator, or NOS-T. Note that in this experiment, we will be testing a series of tags. Try tags 1, 2, and 3 expressed N-terminal to GF.